I haven't gotten to cleaning yet, but I will surely clear up that. But first, I'm gonna make some coffee. In the mornings, I'll go for Chiaro, which is two um, espresso shots, or I'll go for Bianca Fort, which is 230 ml of coffee. <laughs> so nice and sunny outside I've got this coffee I'm seeing the sun sunrise right at this second it is 7 a.m. in the morning Nadi has left for school I wanted to share with you some of the books I'm currently reading I've realized that on this channel I don't really talk about books that much but it's such a big part of me I am actually currently reading three books like three books at a time is like watching three movies all at once which I myself don't agree with but I kind of have a story behind why I'm reading three books at a time. I started off with this one, it's called The Midnight Library. And I was halfway through, but I kind of left this book in a cafe. It took me like weeks to go and get back this book. This book is so, so wholesome. I just love his style of writing. All his books, I mean, this is the second one that I'm reading. It gives purpose to life and I feel that it is just so important because you will always reflect on it. You will always kind of tie it to your own life. And I am hoping to finish it within a day or two because only half of it is left. And then when this was lost, I kind of had to go for this book, which is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I've heard a lot about this book. It has been so raved about and I think half of my face is not even showing or is it and the book is so pretty it's so pink it is so chunky the spacing of the book is right the spine is so stretchable it's not like you're like having a war with the book but apparently I am not much for this kind of book I think it's because I think it's because I'm not so much into romantic books. I think this book also kind of have conversations but like between four people all at once and I kind of find that very slow for me because I have to tune in so much at who is saying what and their relationship from the past. There's a lot of things from the past in this book and I just feel like it's just difficult for me to grasp or like I, I can't relate much to the characters. Now that I've already bought the book, I really kind of just want to finish the book so I'll see on that. This is more of my style it's like a secluded house in the snow and yeah it's very thriller it's called misery by Stephen King I'm just 30 pages through so yeah that's my book update I'm going to carry on and drink my coffee This is almost 11 and I've got some work so I'm heading out and I'm just going to show you like the quick outfit later on but I'm also kind of using this road peptide lip tint in the color raspberry and I am absolutely loving it. It feels so nourishing, it gives a little a slight tint and also it is quite hydrating that I can feel it. It does not have any smell, no smell at all so I'm assuming it's even better. Uh, so yeah, this is going into my bag. I'm also trying this new Clinique SPF 50 for a body because right now the one I'm using is pretty sticky and I'm not sure if that's the case with all the SPFs for the body. So I'm trying something out completely new. Let's see. I'm done with applying it to the entire body. As of now, it feels very sticky. So I don't know how it's going to be, but I feel nourished, of course. I feel like it's hydrating as well. Let's try to do the outfit. Like I, I don't understand how people get so good at doing this. How do you show your outfit? Like if I show my complete outfit, I'll be like so far. Okay, but I'm going to have to try and learn. And of course, my good old Filippo bag. <laughs> is my breakfast and it is so so great. I'm gonna be attempting to make this very soon at home. It's the 